called? Ah, Robbie, my affable chum. How great it is to see you relaxing by the fire. Which you most definitely do all the time. <laughs> yes, quite. Daniel, my affable bum. What new mail has arrived? Well, it seems to be an invitation from the Game Brass to a new album, a musical winter wonderland called Snowtopia. Wait a minute, did you just call me a bum? Snowtopia, you say? Yes, I've heard of Snowtopia. It seems there are 11 attractions, each one an homage to the snow, ice, and holiday landscapes of different video game series. Different video game series? You mean like Mario? Yes. And Final Fantasy? Yes. Undertale? Earthbound? Yes, yes. Mega Man? Yes. Eggnog? Don't mind if I do. Most delightful. Tell me now, how does one get to Snowtopia? Well, first, you collect all eight melodies by traveling to each your sanctuary location. And then? Then you defeat the six robot masters before challenging Dr. Wily and Stackery. And then? Then you traipse about Peach's castle, collecting 70 power stars and paintings. And then? Then you must slide across the ice in a go-kart, dodging penguins and snowmen that explode. Is that really it? No. You just go to thegamebrass.com. Well, well, well. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to our very first Game Brass live stream. Woo! Woo! <laughs> we did it. We did it. We really did it. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you for supporting our album, checking out our band. Uh, all this streaming stuff is very new and fancy. Uh, we are not Doug Perry, so we do not run Marimba Mondays. <laughs> Uh, but hopefully you can hear us clearly, you can see our faces, and you'll be able to enjoy our music tonight. Cool. Who are you? Uh, hi, I am Robbie Duguay. I play the trumpet, the second part, uh, in the Game Brass. Cool. And I'm Daniel Rumberger. I play trombone in the Game Brass. Cool. So I'm going to just take a quick peek at the chat and see how everybody's doing. Hello. Hello. Uh, oh, Purple Shala is here. Purple Shala makes awesome hi. piano uh, covers, and she, re she recently released an album, so... Fun yes. stuff. Uh, Women <laughs> of the Crystal. Uh, please check it out. It is a collaboration between her and uh, Israfel Cello, which is another great YouTube channel. Uh, we really recommend you check it out. It's awesome. Yes. And Thomas is here. Thomas did all of the arrangements for what you are about to hear, which is Snowtopia. And Thomas is a stellar human being. And Not just for that reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And hi, Gold Saber. And hi, Slam Bob. <laughs> hey, Sam boy. Cool. Oh, and John Robert Matz is here. John Robert Matz is the first trumpet in the Game Brass, who has had many a uh, difficult part to play. <laughs> yes. Well, we'll talk about that a little bit more as time goes on. So uh, I think it would be a good time to kick us off with our first track. Uh, Chris Porter, hello. Hi, Chris Hi, Porter. Welcome to the stream. Uh, so what I think we should do is uh, actually some of these tracks have videos now and some of them don't. Uh, for the ones that we do have videos for, I'm ready to play them live for you now. Um, hopefully you can appreciate all of my hard work in editing these down. He can do anything. I'm going to die. Uh, anyway, uh, please enjoy. We're going to start off with our first uh, video. This is Freeze Easy Peak. Thank you. 
right, for his easy peek. There it is. <laughs> Whew. Man. Yeah. Uh, cool. Anything to say about that video? Uh, I mean, first of all, shout out to Grant Kirkhope because he's been so good to us. Oh, man. Uh, at yeah. the end of October, we did a uh, cover of Creepy Castle, mm -hmm. and uh, Grant agreed to be in the video. Uh, if you haven't seen that, please check it out on our channel. Uh, he has tweeted about us. He has talked to us. He's been just very, very nice. So thank you, Grant Kirkhope. Yes, and thanks for being an awesome composer. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, so, chat, how are we doing? I'm cool. glad that it sounds okay. Cool. Uh, chat was wondering about the not plunger mutes uh yes those are indeed not plunger mutes <laughs> um we tell them well I'll, I'll tell them you're more you're more Ooh. skittish about that than i was Ugh. um so we just used the cookie jar and the pot lid for the video aesthetic although for the real version the actual audio that you're hearing we used a real plunger and by a real plunger i mean from a toilet a real plunger that actually mostly plunges Gross. from time to time um i was Ugh. okay with it robbie was significantly less okay with it which is not why we okay. did the not the real plunger not for okay. the video <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. i'm getting the ghiblies just thinking about it <laughs> Ugh. uh Gross. Okay. <laughs> On that note, uh, let's listen to the next track. Okay. What's the next uh, track? Let's we... see. Oh yeah. And Sam makes a good point in chat. Uh, we are 30 subscriptions away from hitting the 1,000 sub mark. So that might happen tonight. You might be there. You might uh, be there. To see us hit a thousand subscriptions. So. Uh, you know, hop on that sub train or whatever. What does what does Trevor say? Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. I don't Smash know. Smash that like button. I don't know. Uh, so the next track on the album is the theme of winters, and that one actually is going to have a video. Uh, it was going to be released tomorrow, but I'm here doing this instead of editing, so it'll probably be out on Wednesday. Uh, mm. No video to show you just now. Yeah, but let's listen to. Um, and just winters. sidebar, it the title is theme of winters, but this is actually a. I guess you'd call it a mini medley of two Earthbound tracks. It's both Snowman, which is a super iconic Earthbound piece, and the theme that plays when you're walking around the Winters area. Cool. So without further ado, here is Theme of Winters. <laughs> Thank you. 
And we're back. We're back. <laughs> so, sound good? What do you think? Cool. Yep, that was the second track to the album, which is Theme of Winters, which incorporates the two Earthbound uh, tracks, Snowman and Winters itself. Uh, if you are new to the stream, welcome. I'm Daniel. I play trombone for the Game Brass. And I'm Robbie. I play the second trumpet in the Game Brass. And I also have produced uh, some of the videos that we're watching here tonight. Uh, a quick note about um, Winters. Uh, I found out when we went to the licensing part of making the album that one of the original soundtrack releases uh, for Earthbound actually had Snowman and Winters as one track, mm. which is how we were able to release it as one track called Theme of Winters. Cool. Which is cool. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, so thank you, Sebastian. Uh, I would like to, before we move on to the next track, I want to announce that we are going to show some uh, hashtag exclusive content tonight secret special surprise yes we have a secret song on the album that is not yet released but you're going to hear it here first tonight and it is not what you're expecting i want you to expect the unexpected uh <laughs> anyways we're going to move on to the next track which is uh snowden town mm -hmm. uh this is of course from the undertale soundtrack and uh again arranged by the wonderful thomas kresge thank you thomas for being here thank yes. you thomas for working with us uh what was I going to say about this one again? Uh, video. Ah, uh, this arrangement actually has existed for a while, mm -hmm. uh, not in this form. Right. So uh, I didn't play on the previous iteration of it, but you did. I did, yeah. So the original version of this track, Snowden Town, was from a Materia Collective album called Fallen that was all dedicated towards Undertale songs, and I think it ended up being something ridiculous, like 93 tracks total. Uh, but anyway, Thomas did a... 91, I think. 91, okay. I Sorry I added two extra tracks there. <laughs> um, but Thomas did an orchestral version of Snowden. So then when we tr when he translated it for the Game Brass, we actually kept th some of the orchestral parts that were made by our friends Andrew and Andrew, Andrew Stephan and Andrew Stern of Ethereal... Ethereal? Ether... 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 Ethereal uh, String Orchestra. Uh, so they're, they're really good. What, we have a track that also features strings on it now. Yeah, so that's the one we're about to hear. Why don't we have a listen right now?
Hello. Thank you again to the uh, Ether Real String Orchestra for playing on that track unknowingly. <laughs> okay, we are hopefully back and live. I, I'm trying to do this while also running a switcher at the same time. So. Yep, our setup is a bit complicated right now. Yes. But we hope you enjoyed uh, the version of Snowden. <laughs> yes. A uh, little bit about the edit for that video. So I edit all of my stuff uh, in After Effects, which is very powerful, but also uh, can be frustrating at times. You can't live preview a video as you're editing it. You have to have every frame rendering. Um, and in the case of something like Snowden that we just did here, uh, I have to render a bunch of layers in order to actually see the video. Uh, and I use effects and I use, and that, that snow that you see is a, an effect, whoa, sorry, an effect that's built into uh, to After Effects. The background of that, as you saw, we were panning across uh, Snowden Town. Um, that that image uh, was a painstakingly uh, spliced together series of screenshots from a deviant art user that the name escapes me right now. I'm sorry, uh, but if you go to the description, it's, it's of that in the video, description of that video. Yeah, at the very bottom, you'll see how I described how I went through that, and uh, you can get a link to that uh, deviant art page. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, Buried in Snow is next. Yes, Buried in Snow, Final Fantasy VII. Anyone, uh, any Final Fantasy VII fans in the crowd tonight? I actually haven't played it myself. <laughs> really? Yeah. I've, I've played, played it a few times. I've played 4, 5, 6, and 10, which are uh, all fantastic. FF7 was not the first RPG I ever played, but it definitely had a big impact on me. Uh, that said, I love it dearly, but the remake is never, ever coming out. Sorry. Here's Buried in Snow. Buried in Snow! <laughs>
Buried in Snow, Final Fantasy VII. Mm -hmm. It's like two more notes left. There. Yeah. It's like that that long fade out ending. Yeah. Two it's French horn the notes. most like barren, snowy, frosty, cold landscape yeah. of all the pieces that we've done so far. Yeah. Cool. The, that one's fun, actually. Uh, another note about mutes. So we're talking about mutes from Fuse mm. Peak. Uh, for this one, the score called for bucket, bucket mutes? mutes. Right, which I don't have one. I don't have one either. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that any of us actually have bucket mutes. So uh, we, we used a bucket. We used a literal bucket. Uh, I was not nearly as grossed out as when we used a literal plunger. Uh, um, I, I think at one point I emptied my spit valve into the bucket and then used the bucket as a mute. <laughs> it's fine. It, you never had to touch the inside of the bucket. So. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Uh, cool. So that is Final Fantasy VII Buried in Snow. Up next is going to be Christmas in Nightopia from Christmas Nights into Dreams. Now, this track, uh, we we were happy to include on the list. It is, uh, fun fact, the only track on the entire yep. album with real Christmas songs in it. Yes, there are quotes to actual Christmas songs yeah. because this is basically the game Nights into Dreams, but a special bonus Christmas level. Right. It's like DLC yeah. back you know, 20 years ago. Uh, cool thing about this is that we tweeted a preview of the video for this, uh, I guess a week ago or so. Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, because we've been doing the, the 12 days of Snowtopia. So every day between November 12th, 20th and today, we've been posting little snippets of, of clips that are coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, when we posted the one of uh, Nights into Dreams, the Knights fans found us. And uh, no offense, every other fandom, but wow, they have shared that thing way more than all y'all. <laughs> Um, they are a super passionate community with their, um, with Knights. <laughs> yeah, they sure do love Knights. And it's Knights. awesome. And like the Sonic franchise and the Sega franchises have constantly been referring back to Knights, even though there hasn't been a major game for it for a while. So I appreciate that, that there's that much of a callback. <laughs> yeah, uh, there was like a remaster, I think, fairly recently. It's on Steam. Uh, that's how I got the, that's right. the gameplay footage for the video. Uh, tonight, we're not going to be watching the video. I'm so sorry. Um, but we're going to play that. Uh, before I lead into that, let's talk to the chat. So, hello, friends. Hello, in friends. The chat. Who do we got now? Cool. Let's do a, a roll call here. Um, I saw S. Shafi 1. That ah. is Sean Shafiansky, who is a uh, fantastic arranger of his own. I recently played uh, on a jazz Final Fantasy IV album, and that was fun. And recently, Sean arranged for us a track from Dragon, Dragon Quest VIII. Yeah. yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah, so Gavotte de Chateau was uh, a cool little track. If you're into Dragon Quest, please check it out. Yeah. Uh, who else is in here? Um, so John Robert Matz is in here. John Robert. John Robert is the first trumpet of the Game Brass. This is Robbie. Hey. He is the second trumpet and the video editor for the Game Brass. Um, I am Daniel. I'm commenting on the Game Brass uh, handle right now. I play trombone, and War Tuba Fox is here. That is Alex, who is the Game Brass tuba player. Yes. Also in the chat tonight is Thomas Kresge, the arranger yes. of this entire <laughs> album. Uh, I believe Sebastian is also in chat. He has acted as uh, like an executive producer on this mm -hmm. album, um, dealing with uh, distribution on the label side. Um, also, we should give a huge shout out to Danny Flam, who I don't think is in chat now. I think he's at a gig. Yeah, <laughs> he, he has a lot of gigs. <laughs> a lot of gigs. But he's a French horn player for the Game Brass. Yeah. And uh, quick note about Danny. He is also in a big band mm -hmm. uh, called Console. Console. Not to be confused with the Consoles. Console, C O N S, -S O U L. Uh, and they are going to be playing at Magfest. Cool. As are we. The main stage. Yes. So uh, we are going to be playing. We're going to be in a jam pod. We're going to be playing at another undisclosed place. But Console is going to be playing on the main stage Thursday night with the composer from Cuphead. So. Uh, Really huge, big deal. I uh, can't wait to catch that. Yes. Um, we're trying to make all of our Magfest plans right now. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's move on in the program. Uh, like I said, we've got Christmas in Nightopia. Here we go. Wait. Yeah.
So, Christmas in Itopia. Uh, shout out to our drummer for that track. Mm. Yeah, uh, Gal, Gal Gashevsky. Yeah, Gal Gashevsky. Gashevsky. Yes. Yes. Gashevsky. Um, it's on the track listing. Cool. Gal, Gal also plays for the consoles, is that right? For console. For console. Not the consoles. Right. <laughs> I remember the argument. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, cool. Whoa. So many... So many messages all of a sudden. Um, so thank you all for joining us once again. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you who have been following along, you know that at the end of tonight's stream, we're going to show you uh, a new totally secret thing you've never heard before. It's not what you're expecting, but I hope you like it. Yeah. Uh, so that was Nitopia. Nitopia. Up next, we're going to have Snowflakes. Oh, man. I love this song Your so Your favorite much. child. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love this song. Ooh. Um, Gold Saber asks, did we get together for recording or do it separately? What a fantastic question. <laughs> do you want to approach it? Um, the answer is that for the most part, we did it separately. Although, as you can see, Robbie and I happen to be living very close to each other. Yes. Um, Robbie is from Toronto and I happen to be going to school in Toronto. So it's a relatively easy drive for me to get over here. And then we record each other and act as our... Uh, the other person's mixing engineers but Doctor. everyone but everyone else had recorded it separately and then we gave the stems to Robbie who edited the parts for timing and tuning and then we gave them to Thomas who mixed provided mixing was yep. the mixing engineer and then Thomas sent them to Robbie who was the mastering engineer to make them sound like they belong on the same album together yeah so uh, every track that we do actually has Basically, that flow. Um, usually, it'll be one person who takes care of arranging, mixing, and mastering, like in one step. But working with Thomas has been awesome. Uh, love to work with him again in, in the future in the same way because uh, I think it sounds fantastic. I'm really proud of what we've done with this album. So I hope you feel the same way. Uh, uh, so, about this next track, Snowflakes, uh, it is from Persona 4 Golden. And I love this game so, so much. Uh, back before Persona 5 came out, 
it was not in, in my circle anyway there wasn't like a huge following for the persona series it feels like every new game that they release there gets this like wider and wider fan base mm. um like even uh, alex hill who plays the tuba in our group he was saying like he loves persona 5 and like yeah. he wants to now get into persona 4 yeah i discovered it through persona 3 and that's one of my favorite games of all time <laughs> so funny um, yeah, so this song is only from the Persona 4 Golden version. Um, that is the expansion that came out on the PS Vita in 2012. I think the original uh, Persona 4 came out on PS2 in 2008. Uh, they added a bunch more content, uh, including this song. And so uh, our guest artist mm -hmm. on this track is Helen Planchet. Uh, I, I want to pronounce that as Planchet so bad because I speak French, but... Um, you know, you American types and your weird English French. No uh, comment. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> Helen. Helen Planchet. She's fantastic. Uh, as you'll hear in a moment, she does a, a great job singing it. Um, please pay close attention to how the video is in this one because I spent many hours trying to get it just right. Cool. Also, shout outs to Danny Flam, the French horn player of the Game Brass and ringleader of Console, who is now here in the chat as well. Hey, Danny. Nice of you to join us. Cool. Why don't we watch this video?
So nice. <laughs> so nice. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I hope everyone can hear me okay. Everything's going good with the stream. Everyone's enjoying the songs. Everyone's enjoying the chat. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. We have all of the members of the Game Brass here now, as well as the arranger, Thomas Kresge. Um, shout out to Damien Peak, fellow trombone is here. I'm happy that you enjoyed the solo in that one. <laughs> Doot. You picked a fantastic instrument, as did anyone else who picked trombone. <laughs> Uh, Robbie, do you have anything to say about the gallons worth of effort that oh, it, you put into that video? I just, Measuring effort in gallons. I, see, I'm from Canada, and I don't really know what a gallon is, if I'm being really honest. Um, uh, let's talk in liters. Mm, uh, <laughs> kiloliters. Kiloliters. Uh, so on this video, <laughs> I, I had to take a lot of inspiration from a lot of different sources, because the Persona 4 game is basically a series of games. There's... Uh, the original game, and then the golden expansion, and then the dance game, and Persona 4 Arena, and then the anime, and then the golden anime, and the, it goes on and on and on. There are a lot of Persona 4 properties. It's even part of um, Persona Q, for instance. Mm. Anyway, so uh, the, the visual inspiration for the video, I took some elements from the, the introductions of the games and some of the footage from the show. Uh, if you've ever played any Persona game, they always start with a really cool animated cutscene. And I wanted to sort of capture that feeling um, in this video. So like the very beginning of Persona 4 Golden has these like stars that take over the screen in a cool way. I wanted to do that with snowflakes and that sort of, that kicked off this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Originally it was going to be, as John Roberts says, I'll keep it simple, but Persona 4 was just so much of a passion project that it could not be simple. And absolute shout outs to the passionate singer, again, Helen, uh, Helen Planchet. She did a phenomenal job uh, singing this and it was, work. it was delightful to be able to work with her. And I, I think that's truly a special track for this album. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, to be honest. It's really great. Mm. Cool. Uh, Speaking of cool. Cool. Mountain. Mountain. <laughs> The next track is Coco Mountain. Uh, this is from, of course, Mario 64. Those of you who are uh, in the nearly 30 age, this is probably a very formative console for you. Uh, and first console first, I ever owned. Probably the <laughs> one uh, of the first games that I ever owned, honestly. The first game you ever owned, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we hope you enjoy it. Um, anything special to note about this one as of yet? Um, it's. It's a lot of fun. I think it does a good job of showcasing all of the instruments. Everyone has their own special moment, which is a fantastic thing about Thomas's arrangements in general. Yeah. Uh, every instrument gets its own chance to shine. It's not just trumpets have the melody all the time. Uh, which not, that okay. not that there's anything wrong with trumpets <laughs> having the melody all the time, but anytime you give trombone the melody, it's like, yeah. that's fire. <laughs> yeah. uh, and speaking of, uh, probably my favorite moment on the whole album is in track 11. Uh, mm. Which is we'll see in a, in a bit, but there's a tuba solo that is so good that I could listen to it on repeat just all day long. It is amazing. Anyway, that's track cool. eleven. And speaking of later tracks, make sure you stick around after track eleven for a special live exclusive. Although it won't live exclusive surprise. <laughs> uh, and in the meantime, let's have a listen to Cool Cool Mountain from Mario sixty four. Enjoy. Thank you. 
We are back, I think. My switcher is wigging out. Are we back for real? I think we're back. Okay. Uh-oh. What's going on? We're back. We're back. We're really we're back. back. Okay. Hi. We're back. My switcher is wigging out. So let's just talk for a minute. Let's just talk, you guys. Let's just talk. That was Cool Cool Mountain from Mario 64. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I always knew that song as Penguin Race mm. because it's the same Yeah, uh, it's the same content. melody of the slide race. Yeah. Uh. It's great. <laughs> I'm suddenly speechless. I'm we, totally we... wrecked by the switcher being messed up, but yeah. I'll just restart the switcher software and hope for the best. Okay. Banter. This is Banter. Hello. Banter. Hello. This is a website. Uh... Cool. So, how's yep. chat doing? Uh, for those of you just joining us, we are doing a live stream, first listen, first look uh, of our new album, Snowtopia, a video game holiday tribute. Uh, my name is Robbie Duguay. I play the trumpet in the Game Brass. Cool. Uh, I'm Daniel Rumberger. I play trombone in the Game Brass. Also joining us in the chat tonight are Danny Flam, French horn, uh, John Robert Matz, trumpet, Alex Hill, tuba, and the arranger of this fine project, uh, Thomas Kresge. Mm -hmm. uh, a cool shout out to Thomas. Uh, let's tell a little story. Thomas approached us to start work on this album on uh, August the 8th. That sounds about right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think any of the tracks had been arranged as of yet at that point. And so, uh, if I'm being honest, I think I tried to say no. And the rest of the band. I was said like, yes. Yeah, the rest of the band, like, yeah, this is a great idea. And <laughs> I have four Christmas albums that I've put out before, and I know uh, the time constraints that are around it. So I was really hesitant. I was like, guys, there's not enough time. Maybe next year, whatever. And just, I sort of got over outvoted by the rest of the guys. Uh, so on we went on this journey to do this. Uh, he had all the arrangements ready by September 1st, if I recall. Yeah just like lightning speed going through all these arrangements and they all sound so fantastic They're amazing <laughs> and uh yeah the only one i think he had done before again was snowden. snowden town but even that was not for this instrumentation so it's still a bunch of work yeah uh we were able to record everything by october 5th or so that's not that sounds about right yeah um and then it was a sprint of just mixing and mastering and album art and video and yeah. everything and you're still sprinting with a video because yeah. <laughs> we've been yes. we've been putting out a lot of videos of about two per week um, leading up to the release, and we're still going to be doing about two per week all the way until Christmas. So I hope you guys look forward to the remaining videos for each track on Snowtopia. Yes. Uh, until then. Yes. So uh, yeah, every Tuesday, Wednesday, and every Saturday, Sunday. Uh, so twice a week, there's a video. Um, at the same time as doing little previews every day for the last 12 days, uh, we're also doing those full videos, like you said. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to continue all the way until Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Yeah. yeah. So please look forward to seeing all of Snowtopia out on YouTube, um, which reminds me that if you stay tuned until the end of the stream, we have a very special exclusive piece of uh, hashtag content for you. <laughs> uh, yes. So uh, my good... My my good chap, uh, what is our next track? My good chap, I'm an affable chum, sir. Right. Uh, uh, Daniel. All right. Our next track is called Christmas Town from Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix. To use the British I need, HD. I need someone to explain Kingdom Hearts to me. 
Um, so there's a guy named Sora, and there are a couple guys who are not named Sora, and there's something <laughs> is with one the, named Goofy. One of them is named Goofy. Okay. Another is named Donald, but not the President Donald, the Duck Donald, and um, they hey go off and they save the kingdom and they fight creatures called Heartless, but then one of them is a Heartless, and it's kind of confusing, and that's Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Great. I just love seeing the little clips on Twitter that's like, whatever, did anyone call for a, a piece of darkness or whatever? And the camera turns from, like, basically Final Fantasy characters to, like, Mickey Mouse <laughs> in a bathrobe? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. I know Frozen's in the Kingdom Hearts 3, sure. which is coming and out. Winnie the Pooh. Why not? If yeah. you've got Disney properties, why not? Anyway, I should stop uh, making fun of Kingdom Hearts. Uh, this is going to be Christmas Town from Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD cool. Remix. Cool. It is actually called... Oh, you're putting this on me? What a surprise. And happy holidays. happy holidays. It is a medley of two different tracks from uh, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Wait, HD Remix. Happy Holidays is first, is it not? Uh, I don't know. One of them is the song that plays in Christmas Town when you're just walking, and the other one is the song that plays in Christmas Town when you're fighting. That's I, I know at least that much about it. Yes. Yeah. So, without any further ado, let's listen to Christmas Christmas Town. Town. Thank you. 
Cool. What a surprise. What a surprise. Happy holidays. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to say happy holidays. What a surprise. We rehearsed this. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix, uh, that is Christmas Town. That is track number eight from Snowtopia, mm. a video game holiday tribute. Hello, everyone. Cool. Once again. Yeah, we had some discussion about Perfect Pitch in the chat. Um, just to, to add something to that discussion, um, a thing that people often don't think about with Perfect Pitch is Latent Absolute Pitch. Latent Absolute Pitch is being able to deter determine the specific pitch that you're singing uh, based on something that you had heard before. And what's really interesting is a lot of people actually have Latent Absolute Pitch to some degree. So if you hmm. can think of if you can think of a song that you know and then try to sing it, chances are if you're not going to be exactly right, you'll probably be pretty close. That's, uh, good, that's uh, yeah. interesting and cool. Uh, for those of you following along at home, uh, Daniel is studying his doctorate in music right now, so mm -hmm. he knows some things. Yeah. So, for example, in the next track that we're about to play, which is called Winter Veil from Winter vale. World of Warcraft, uh, towards the end of it, I have a trombone solo which goes ba da 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 da, and I'm me. pretty sure that's like actually in the right key. <laughs> yeah. Does it change keys throughout the arrangement at all? Do you think? Uh, uh, that's the da 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 da. But it starts off with like ba da da. Da, yeah. Da, da. Yep. Yep. That's the right note. Yep. So if Nothing you can remember what here. Robbie just sang, and then we're gonna play this song, you, we can see if uh, that's right. <laughs> play along at home if you know Wintervale. Uh, anyone in the chat? Do you play World of Warcraft? Have you played World of Warcraft? Uh, I personally played way too much World of Warcraft back in the vanilla WoW days. Uh, so much that I'm probably not allowed to talk about it. All right, let's cool. listen to Wintervale. Cool. Uh, one more, one more yeah. question. Uh, Gold Saber asks, how did you guys deal with the tempo changes in oh. the piece that we just played? Uh, I can talk about that. So um, when we set up an arrangement, uh, all the notes get written out as MIDI notes. And one of the things you can do in MIDI is change the tempo on the fly. So whoever makes the arrangement actually makes a click track with that arrangement. And everyone who records individually, uh, like we're here in Toronto, mm -hmm. John Roberts in Chicago, etc. Uh, we all play along to that click. And then when it gets to editing time, everything should line up close. And then there's more editing that happens after that. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully that answers your question. Yep. So partially getting used to it and partially editing magic. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so here is Wintervale. Wintervale from World of Warcraft. I almost said Final Fantasy. Wow. World of Warcraft. <laughs>
That was, we already did that one. Yeah, sorry. Okay, that, that was, was called walker. Winter Vale. Um, it was actually a medley of two tracks from World of Warcraft, which are Eternal Holly Brew and Winter Holiday. So, wait, Winter Holiday, isn't that also the name of the Christmas soundtrack? Uh, you mean in, night, um, in well, Kingdom Hearts? Which, yeah, which are the two that were actually What Christmas a surprise and Happy Holidays. Happy Holiday. Yes, okay, this, this is, is Winter Holiday. Winter, totally different holiday. Totally different. Yeah, totally different. <laughs> cool. cool. Um, so, speaking about the exclusive content stuff, or do we want to go to chat first? Um, sure. So, we have a question about who made the cover for Snowtopia. Yes. So, the cover for Snowtopia uh, is an old friend of mine. His name is Scott Gamble. Scott, if you're listening tonight, hello. Shout out to Scott Gamble with a G, not Scott Campbell. He's another artist. Uh, so Scott and I have known each other for the last mm, six or seven years. Uh, we met at a convention. He was uh, in Artist Alley. We worked on a video game together. Uh, and now he has he's moved away and come back again since. And uh, thankfully, I've been able to maintain a working relationship with him. Uh, he did the album art for my soundtrack, G Graceful Explosion Machine. Mm -hmm. And he also did this uh, illustration for Snowtopia. Yeah. So thank you again, Very Scott. Very grateful. <laughs> exactly what we needed so thanks mm -hmm. uh, and thanks for asking chat uh those of you who are just joining us my name is robbie duguay i play the trumpet cool i am daniel rumberger and i play trombone in the in the game brass the bame grass the bame grass and in the chat joining us tonight we have danny flam who plays the french horn mm -hmm. we have john robert Matz who plays the trumpet we have alex hill who plays the tuba Mm -hmm. And we have hey. Thomas Kresge, the arranger. Uh, yep. And Alex Hill's uh, username on YouTube is WarTubaFox. Right. Oh, this is a good time to mention some other side projects. So, cool. uh, Danny, you have a channel. I do have a channel. I actually haven't uploaded on, on it in a little while, but my channel is Danny Music. Um, it's kind of confusing for the purposes of the Game Brass because Danny Flam is the French horn player, but I go by Daniel for Game Brass things, uh, and I play trombone. So... If you're interested in checking out some more of the stuff that I do, feel free to check out the channel Danny Music. Yes, and as you mentioned, Alex is War Tuba Fox, like W A R T U B A F O X. Yeah, he does uh, multi-track tuba, tuba. Yeah, tuba music stuff. It's great. 
Uh, and I mean, the rest of us are composers, arrangers, recordists, whatever. Cool. Uh, and yeah. we didn't shout him out yet, but shout outs to Thomas Kresge, who is yes. also here. Thomas Kresge did all of the arrangements for this album, and we would definitely not be here if not for him. So thank you, Thomas. Thank you so much for being yes. amazing. <laughs> And uh, on that note, can somebody update me on our subscriber count at this point? Just someone in chat shouted out because we are getting dangerously close to 1,000 subscribers. And if we can hit that tonight while we're on stream, that would be uh, an awesome milestone to share with you. That would be a mind blown type yep. moment. That'd be great. Uh, also, in terms of shout outs, I think my parents just started watching. So hello, mom and dad. Hi. Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And thanks for tuning in to all the rest of the chat as well. Uh, it's really exciting to have yeah. so many people here to, and a lot of brass players. Tons. Really, really exciting to have so many people here to talk mm -hmm. to. Speaking of a lot of brass players, Thomas happens to be a brass player. Yeah, let's watch the clip. Let's watch. <laughs> uh, I hope you people at home enjoyed that. Uh, so Thomas, our ranger, our dear, dear ranger, uh, he played a couple of clips for us. I was going to throw them into a couple of videos as a joke, but... Uh, yeah, honestly, I don't know why I needed to be here. He could he could play trombone fine for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of exclusive clips, coming up at the end of the stream tonight, we are going to be showing you something that no one has ever heard before. Mm -mm. Well, we've heard it before, but what? you haven't heard it before. Going live for the first time ever. Yes. Cool. Uh, and so moving right along, what cool. do we have next? Uh, we have the 10th track of the album, which we just have a video for. It is Frap Snowland. Frappe Snowland? Frappe, yeah, I think it's I think it's Frappe. Again, me with the, the Frenchisms, but Frappadou sure Snowland. Frappe. Cool. Fun fact, this is the background music to two tracks in Mario Kart 64, not just one. Uh, when Thomas was initially doing the arrangement, he thought that it was Sherbert Land, which has all these penguins that push you around and pretty much act as bullies. But there are actually two tracks that are winter themed and the first one the titular frap snow land has some exploding snowmen that are really uncomfortable and they've since reused this song the, the frappe snowland song in sherbert land levels mm -hmm. um which i was going through gameplay footage to obviously make the video and uh that, that's the theme that we know today so uh i'll probably refer to it as uh, Sherbert Land. Cool. But and since we have video for this one, uh, you get to enjoy the video too. <laughs> yes, this one uh, just came out. So uh, if you want to see it again, you can watch it on YouTube whenever you like. Here we go.
So I don't know if you noticed this, but I timed Wario crossing the finish line with the last note of the song. Yeah. I hope someone out there appreciates. I this. noticed that you timed Mario going into the water with that white fade out transition before the last scene. <laughs> mm -hmm. A lot of little details when it goes into uh, editing a video like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, so that's our latest YouTube video. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen it before or want to see it again, just go to youtube.com slash thegamebrass and you can watch that video anytime you like. To your heart's content. Yep. Cool. So how also, are we doing? Also, oh, we're doing pretty well. Um, seeing a lot of new faces here. We have Hello, Happy chat. Fanda. We have Jay. Welcome, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for all coming. I'm glad that you can make it to the stream. Uh, one more reminder that after our last track of the album, don't go away because there is a super special secret crazy bonus track that I hope you guys are looking forward to. <laughs> yes, that's right. I guess now that we are, that was the 10th track, yes? That was the 10th track. So, one more. <laughs> after this last song that we're going to play, there's one more new last song. Yes. So we've been saying like, super special exclusive content this is actually a bonus track that is going to be added to the Bandcamp uh version of the album uh as soon as we are ready with it but stay tuned on that mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna be great cool cool all right so want to talk about our last track it's quite a doozy possibly the most difficult track of the album yes <laughs> uh, i had a really hard time with this track yeah. uh no uh it's not any offense to thomas he did a great job arranging it it's just i am not yeah. that great it's it's crazy uh so it's iceman from Mega Man one has all kinds of ridiculous funky grooves uh special shout outs to a uh, guest performer back again on the drum set is gal gershevsky <laughs> thank you gal for playing with us he's a great drummer and he plays with console console with danny flam who is our french horn player uh they play in a big band they will be playing on the main stage thursday night at magfest uh, if you want more information, I should have thought about this ahead of time. But if you just go to uh, at New York Brass, as in the city of New York, New York Brass on Twitter or Instagram, uh, you'll find Danny. And through Danny, you can find 
console. Cool. And also, we, the Game Brass, all of us will be at MAGFest. We will be playing at the cafe area. And uh, I don't think we'll... that's announced yet, but now it is. Oh, Surprise! I didn't know. Surprise! <laughs> Super Speak Secret Special <laughs> Announcement. Um, we'll, be, we'll be together. We'll be playing. Listen to us. We yeah. like playing instruments. <laughs> yeah. Just going to the chat for a minute here. Uh, I see a couple uh, little messages about playing really, really high. Yeah, so I think uh, as trumpet players, the rule is you just play as high as you physically can all the time, right? And as loud as possible. Uh, yes, John Robert can play much higher than me. Um, so I play the trumpet as well. I can play comfortably and reliably up to an A, maybe a B flat. Uh, and any time of day, I can just sort of like play those notes. Uh, yeah. In recordings, I've gone up to a C sharp, but that was just one time, not for fun. It was painful. Uh, John Robert, however, can play much higher. Um, but most of the parts that are really high, he plays on a piccolo trumpet. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, it is a trumpet that is half the size, so it plays one octave above. Um, it doesn't make it easier to play high notes, it just makes it easier to lock into the right high note. So mm -hmm. if I had a piccolo trumpet, I still couldn't play above a C sharp or a D or whatever. Um, whereas John Robert can. Yep. Um, I have an alto trombone as well. Normally a, tr normally a trombone is the tenor trombone. The alto trombone is the variant right above that. And it works kind of similar to the piccolo trumpet. It makes it easier to reach the high notes, but you can't really get to ones that you couldn't already get on a tenor. Right. Yeah. Like that E flat we were talking about yesterday. Yay. I hit that E flat. That was exciting. You did good. Um, you did good. I recorded a high E flat recently and that was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Danny in the chat. Trumpet players need to talk about mouthpieces or they lose their ability to play. I play on a Bach 3C mouthpiece. I don't want to lose my privileges. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Uh, we should play the last track, which is not the last track, but it's the last track. Uh, it is Iceman from Mega Man. Oh, just before we go to that, let's go to a clip again of Thomas Kresge playing, this time the trumpet. You'll see he's a lot better at the trumpet than he is at the trombone. Mm -hmm. uh, so here is Thomas Kresge playing the trumpet, followed by Iceman from Mega Man. Yes. Thank you. 
All right. Whew, so what a whirlwind. Shout outs to all of the crazy Whoa. solo work in that piece. Man. Alex's tuba solo is dun, 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 dun. Oh, <laughs> nuts. And then John Roberts' piccolo trumpet solo. I think he hit notes that dog whistles can't hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I can only dream of hitting those notes on the trumpet. My gosh. Uh, and yeah, so shout outs to the soloist. Uh, that actually is the end of the whole album with the with exception. The exception of the bonus track we're about to play for you. But now's a good time to say some thank yous. So uh, to introduce ourselves again, my name is Robbie Duguay. I play the trumpet in the Game Brass. Yep, he also does video editing. Do. Uh, I'm Daniel Rumberger. I play trombone in the Game Brass. Uh, joining us in the chat tonight is John Robert Matz, who plays the trumpet. Um, Danny Flam, who plays the French horn. Uh, Alex Hill, who plays the tuba. Yep, he goes by War Tuba Fox in the chat. And we would also like to thank our guest arranger, Thomas Kresge, who arranged every track on this album. You, we Thomas. would not be here with not for him. Wonderful uh, arranger and a wonderful human being as well. Yes. And cool. then also guest shout, performers. Out, uh, shout out once again to Scott Gamble, who did our album art, uh, as well as Materia Collective slash Sebastian Wolf. Mm -hmm. Sebastian Wolf, who uh, is responsible for distribution uh, and just being a, a cool, supportive label. Mm -hmm. uh, We'd also like to shout out the guest artists. So we had Gal Gershevsky, who played drum set on this track and on Christmas and Nightopia. And we also had Helen Planchet, who sang the lyrics to uh, Snowflakes very beautifully. <laughs> yes. As well, we want to thank the Ether Real uh, String Orchestra, that's Andrew and Andrew, for playing with us unknowingly on uh, the Undertale track, Snowden Town. Yes. And thank you for... Thank you to Jingle Bells for existing. Good point, Gold Saver. Jingle Bells were very prominent in this album and yes. totally sold the whole winter spiel. Yep. Sleigh Bells means Christmas. <laughs> Let's all go get a peppermint mocha. Uh, cool. And thank you all for watching us tonight. Yes. Um, for those of you who have been with us this whole time, congratulations. You made it. Uh, we're going to show the last track now. Those of you just joining us, thank you so much. Please check out the rest of our channel. Uh, I don't know what our subscriber count has gotten to tonight, but uh, thank you all for, for supporting our, us and our work. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. It was a lot of fun getting to chat and hang out with you all. And I, I hope you all really enjoyed your time and I am looking forward to sharing the bonus track with all of you. Yes, and uh, just before the bonus track, I'm going to show a bonus video clip uh, from the many hours of video that I received. Uh, you'll, let me just show you the clip. Show the clip. <laughs> Welcome to last video. I'm dying here. On the first day of Christmas, the Game Brass sent to me a red buzzard with a jiggy. On the second day of Christmas, the Game Brass sent to me two crack bats and a red buzzard with a jiggy. On the third day of Christmas, the Game Brass sent to me three nice creams, two crack bats and a red buzzard with a jiggy. On the fourth day of Christmas, the Game Brass sent to me Four phoenix down, three nice creams, two crack bats, and a red buzzard with a jiggy. On the fifth day of Christmas, the game brass sent to me five, five Christmas nights. Four phoenix down, three nice creams, two crack bats, and a red buzzard with a jiggy. On the sixth day of Christmas, the game brass sent to me six snowflakes falling far. Five Christmas nights, four phoenix down, three nice creams, two crack bats, and a red buzzard with a jiggy. On the seventh day of Christmas, the game brass sent to me seven stars are shining, six snowflakes falling far. Five Christmas nights. Four phoenix down, three nice creams, two crack bats, and a red buzzard with a jiggy. On the eighth day of Christmas, the game brass sent to me 
Eight hearts are lighting. Seven stars are shining. Six snowflakes falling far. Five Christmas nights. Four phoenix down. Three nice creams. Two crack bats. And a red buzzard with a jiggy. On the ninth day of Christmas, the game was sent to me. Nine orcs are wowing. Eight hearts are lighting. Seven stars are shining. Six snowflakes falling. Five, Five Christmas nights. Four phoenix down. Three nice creams. Two crack bats. And a red buzzard with a jiggy. On the tenth day of Christmas, the game was sent to me. Ten booming snowmen. Nine orcs are wowing. Eight hearts are lightning. Seven stars are shining. Six snowflakes falling far. Five Christmas nights. Four phoenix down. Three nice creams. Two crack bats. And a red buzzard with a jiggy. On the eleventh day of Christmas, the game was sent to me. Eleven robot masters. Ten booming snowmen. Nine orcs are wowing. Eight hearts are lighting. Seven stars are shining. Six snowflakes falling far. Five Christmas nights. Four phoenix down. Three nice creams. Two crack bats. And a red buzzard with a jiggy. On the twelfth day of Christmas, the game brass sent to me. Twelve game brass carols, eleven robot masters, ten booming snowmen, nine orcs are wowing, eight hearts are lighting, seven stars are shining, six snowflakes falling. Five Christmas nights, four phoenix down, three nice creams, two crack bats. And a red buzzard with a jiggy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Surprise! We sing too. Yeah, <laughs> when uh, called upon. Oh man, so many things. Yeah, so many feelings. So many things to say about that song. Yep. So that came together quite last minute. Um, actually, as a result of our promotional campaign, Thomas Kresge had the idea of creating alternate twelve days of Christmas lyrics to go along with the games and the series that we are covering. So each day is a reference to the particular track of the album. Um. Nice creams being Undertale, cracked bats being the first weapon that you get in Earthbound, and so on and so forth. <laughs> yeah, uh, and so looking at this, I think I think this was all John Roberts' baby. This was quite John Roberts' baby. So shout out to John Robert Matz, yeah. who in the last two days, yep, arranged this whole monstrosity and uh, mixed it down. Also with uh, Thomas again for mixing, and we all recorded it and made it happen in yep. two days. Um, someone had asked John Robert Matz, hey, would you be able to just sing a quick, dirty version of this? And John Robert Matz said yes. And then he's like, actually, wait, I can't do anything in half measures. So let's make this five-minute amazing arrangement that we both <sighs> so play wild. and sing on, and we'll put it together in two days. So, yeah, that's really exciting. Um, happy to be able to show that for you as the exclusive yes. live content to conclude the album. It will not be exclusive for too much longer because we uh, will be releasing that last one as a bonus track on Bandcamp. So if you already right. have the album from Bandcamp, you will be able to get this track. Um, but yeah. it'll be a secret song. There's a way in Bandcamp where you can say, only get only show this if you download the album. So you won't be able to preview it. You'll but you will be able to get it. The album. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> yeah, uh, the the arrangement so cool, so great. Obviously, takes a lot of uh, inspiration from Nozzle Brass, which is uh, an Austrian brass group. Um, they're a septet, I believe. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Um, they play a 
a lot of them are multi instrument yes. multi instrumentalists, and what's neat about them is how crazy visual they get with their performances. Yes, and notably, they incorporate singing quite a bit. So uh, they are one of John Roberts' favorite groups, and uh, I mean uh, mine as well. I mean this whole group. We, sort we of, love them. <laughs> yeah, we 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 love them. Obviously, they're very top level um, brass players, and uh, they're sort of nonchalant way of just throwing sudden singing into their songs we thought would be a great way to do this tonight so mm -hmm. yeah we uh we hope you have enjoyed this and yeah. the rest of the songs uh thank you all for hanging out with thank us you so much. this was so much fun uh thanks to thomas and the rest of the game brass for yes. coming out and uh interacting with all y'all in the chat yes uh, thank you all for watching tonight we really appreciate you checking out our music Absolutely. Um, and stay tuned for more videos of the remaining tracks on Snowtopia all the way until Christmas. Yes. And I'm just going to switch us over. Why don't I play us out with one of our previous tracks? What have I got here? Let's listen to the... Uh, no, let's go back. Let's watch the video from Snowden Town one more time, just, just for fun. And then after that, we're going to be gone. So thank you all okay. for watching. Great. Thank you have all so night. much. Take Goodbye. Care.
Okay, we're back. It's a secret, but we're back. Hi. Hello. We never left. Shh. <laughs> we have a secret for you. Mm -hmm. We're going to be playing. I'm going to move the mic so you can see it. We're going to be playing live at MAGFest. Live at MAGFest. Friday night. The Belvedere Lobby Bar. 8 p.m.? 8 p.m., I believe. 8 p.m. You yeah. can see all five of the Game Brass, probably plus some guests. Yep. Thomas will be there. Thomas is going to be there. Come and uh, listen to us play live. We're going to do some silly stuff. We're going to do some serious stuff. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yep. MAGFest is short for Music and Gaming Festival. Right. And that is a convention that is held in Oxon Hill, Maryland from uh, January 3rd until January 6th, I believe. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, so, Friday night, 8 p.m., Belvedere Lobby Bar. The Game Brass Live. We'll see you guys there. Super secret, but tell your friends.